Hello everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow by Tarot. What a little line y'all bringing you the Tarot Love Tea for the Zodiac Sign of Cancer. So we are going to look into you guys' love life. Let me adjust a little bit. And yes, I'm wearing my handy dandy cap. Why? Because I need to do my hair. So y'all know when I'm having the bad hair day, which I've been having. It just is what it is, but we're not here for that. We're here for the love tea. So, without further ado, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please hit subscribe. Woo! Give me a thumbs up. You know, YouTube collects thumbs. They just got this thumb thing going on. Please share my videos. Comment down below and hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube with Super Chat where I answer your love tea questions live. If you would like a private reading with me, as these readings are general and won't resonate with everyone, if you'd like a private reading, just email me here, shadowbyutarot at gmail.com, and we will book your private reading. All right, guys, take what does resonate, leave the rest behind, and we are going to dish out some love tea. I am using the Spirit Tarot. For you guys. Also, please check out my memberships. Two tiers to choose from. Very affordable and worth taking a sneak peek at. So guys, let's do it. Cancer in love. Spirit, please give me the messages for the zodiac sign of cancer. Cancer regarding love lives. The strongest, most dominant, most current energies for the zodiac sign of cancer. What can cancerians look forward to in their love life? Please, Spirit, give me the guidance and the answers for cancer in love. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles straight out the gate. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's a cycle closing out here. Financially, you guys are doing well. Could be that you have just achieved a new job promotion, a pay raise. Some of you I'm hearing a higher degree of learning. Maybe you got trained for a new career path or continuing education of some kind, some type of training for the career you're currently in that's going to elevate your status, your money, give you more earning power. Others of you, maybe you've just gotten married. And that's just for a few of you guys. It's not for everyone. What more do you have here, please, Spirit, for Cancer in Love? We have the Two of Cups. Some of you, some of you, not many, may be ending a marriage and beginning a new union with someone else. Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be here. You guys are starting a new career path, a new job. Like I said, an elevation in your money for some of you. Others of you, it's planting roots. Some of you may be making a commitment to someone from the past because there's history here, okay? Some of you, this if this is a new person or a new love interest, you are going to plant the seeds for longevity, longevity prosperity, growth. Marriage is definitely in the mind and in the plan of whoever is starting this new relationship or rekindling an old relationship. This is going to last, okay? This is planning for that home together, planning your life around this person with them, including them. This is family ties. 
We have the world. Yeah, there's a cycle closing out and a new cycle beginning here. In love, prosperity, abundance, children. Not children for everybody, but for some of you. You're going to have to just take the messages as they resonate because I'm getting different messages. So it's for different people listening. Somebody's definitely dealing with a Taurus. Somebody's definitely dealing with a Scorpio here. I also see... Yeah. Heavy Taurus energy. Someone could be stubborn to change, but will. We're finding here that somebody might have cultural differences. There may be cultural differences between someone here and their person. I have a lot of fire and water. Fire and water are going to come together and grow, I'm getting. We have the Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity, Balance, Give and Take, Spending Time Together, Interaction, Protecting what you're what you're building with this person. Five of Swords energy. This is all about change. Cutting away what no longer serves you in your life and pursuing your dreams, pursuing what makes you happy. The Ace of Cups. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's dealing with a Pisces for sure. We have the Four of Swords. Someone here is healing from a past relationship, a recent breakup with someone else. Wanting to pursue their desire here, someone does. Whoever's breaking up and recently breaking up with someone. And this is affecting someone from another culture. They need a little bit of time to heal before they make any... Permanent promises or permanent plans with someone else. Not that they don't want to. They do. But they need it to kind of go, you know, in stages here. Slower stages. Not so much in a rush. Someone here may not be expressing how they really feel. To someone who is very attracted to them and cares for them and wants a new beginning with them. As we have the Ace of Cups that's looking right at that Four of Swords. Someone here might be expecting communication from someone who's been a little silent. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. We have the Six of Wands. Pursuing, going after what you truly want. Expecting and wanting victory. Someone who's been closed up, not expressing themselves, someone who hasn't been talking will come out of this Four of Swords and reveal what's been going on. Like I said, this is a heavy energy from someone overseas, someone at a very long distance. You finally get communication. They've been silent long. They've been in contemplation what they want to say, how they want to express themselves, and they are going to be opening up. Judgment, we have reconciliation, coming together, partnership, forgiving, learning. After a time of healing, seven of cups. This is making that choice here. Somebody's making that decision, that choice to go after what they truly desire. 
There will be truth coming out, communication coming out from someone who's been silent, someone at a very long distance, another country, three of wands. If you've been waiting for your person for a while, they are coming towards you. Your ships are definitely coming in. And the King of Pentacles, you will achieve that King of Pentacles. You will have this relationship. Luck is on your side. Jupiter energy, enlightenment. We also have financial prosperity and abundance in someone's career. Maybe someone felt they had to take a time out to focus on their career before pursuing long-term commitment. Yeah, but now somebody, someone is ready to focus on home and family and creating with a partner. They want to settle down with their person now that they have achieved some type of financial stability or success, okay? What else do we have here? Ooh. Six of Cups. Definitely a lot of you guys are reconciling with someone from your past that you feel is your true soulmate. It was all about divine timing. This is Scorpio energy. We also have... Libra, we have Cancer, Libra, and Sagittarius, King of Wands, somebody's taking action, somebody is taking action, Nine of Pentacles, someone's been single for a while, Feeling a little trapped in a situation, having to focus on themselves, having to focus on other things, what's going on around them. It's been difficult for this person. They want to be in a commitment with their soulmate, with their soul partner. And this is for some of you guys that this person still feels a little stuck. Not physically able for whatever reason because they're so busy. They have so much going on around them that they have to take care of. But they have the want to move forward and commit. Nine of Cups. Emotional instability is here. A lot of challenges could be another Cancer or Pisces you're dealing with, but somebody is, is very, it's emotional upheaval, it's challenges emotionally that someone here is facing to get to that Ten of Cups, to get to that person, to make that happy home happen. But they are moving forward. There is hope here. They're not giving up. Determination. But some of you guys, you might be dealing with somebody, or this could be you. That someone, there's other people or other circumstances pulling you back or holding back this person from coming forward. The tower. This is traditionally Scorpio energy in the tower. This is major transformation, major arcana. We have Aries here also. But the truth is going to be revealed, okay? This foundation is going to be shaken to reveal the truth of what's going on. Two of Pentacles, yeah, and it'll restore whatever the truth is. Whatever this tower reveals is going to restore balance and stability and help someone achieve what they want, achieve the success that they want in a relationship 
we have the Empress. Yeah, somebody's going to be able to start this new relationship after the tower falls, after the truth is revealed. Long-term partnerships. Yeah. All right. Let's grab a romance angel or two. So it looks like it's going to be challenging overall. All right. Some of you guys, it's either you or your person, or, you know, dealing with peop other people or situations that keep holding them back from actually going for this union. Okay. There are some of you that your person or you have just recently broken up out of a committed relationship, whether it be marriage or not being married, but still in a commitment and need a little bit of time to heal from that before they can jump in both feet. Okay. There's reconciliation here for a lot of you guys that will be successful. It will be challenging. A lot of things that need to be cleared up. A lot of communication. A lot of things that need to be spoken about. And once that comes out, whatever the truth is, whatever this communication is, whatever it is that's unknown that needs to be revealed, it's going to make the huge difference and the stability of this relationship and fast forward, okay, and moving forward, once it starts stable, it continues to be stable, okay? That's what you want. You don't want ghosts from the past or bullshit from the past, you know, surprising you along the way. Take these messages, guys, as they resonate because it was a lot of different messages coming through. All right, angelic principalities. All right, we have two. I have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You guys are being told, make the effort. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Don't micromanage this. Go with the flow. They're saying you deserve love. You are lovable. Underneath the deck, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Y'all need to talk. Have more self-esteem. More, you know, you need to really believe in yourselves here. And don't try to micromanage this. Let things unfold naturally. But don't hold back how you feel. Be patient with each other. And don't hold back, guys. Jump in. Take that leap of faith. You know, be honest with your person. If you want to spend your life with someone, you got to be honest and open with them. Because you expect the same in return. People can feel when you're holding back. And it makes them want to hold back. Well, what's the point of having a relationship if everybody's going to hide how they feel or what's going on, whether it's good or bad? You got to be honest, okay? So, guys, that was your reading. If you would like a private reading for your situation, email me here at shadowbyutarot at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe! <laughs> Thank you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.